Hey guys, Susie here, and I forgot to mention something really awesome in the previous video I shared with you. Um, if you haven't seen that video yet, it's all about how to create pin images super fast, really easily to make your life so much easier because we all know Pinterest now wants more fresh and new content. All right, so you can't spend all your time in front of your computer just designing Pinterest images, even though it is a lot of fun. With this program, I'll show you how to do it super quickly. And there's even a little hack within the program that I completely forgot to show you guys. So I am so sorry. I'm going to show you how to do that now. But first, if you like this video and if you are going to get the program, please go through my affiliate link. It really helps me. It gives me some commission um, so that the recommendations that I make are worth it and that I know you guys like it and I get a little bit of compensation for my time in recommending this. So. Thank you in advance. A lot of you have already used my affiliate link. I really appreciate it. Um, before we get into the video, if you haven't seen the previous one yet, please watch that one first and then come back to this extra special hack. Um, if you have seen that one, let's get into it. But right before we do that, what have other people said about this tool? Let's check out some comments. Astra Thomas says, wow, this is a life changing smiley face, smiley face, thumbs up, thumbs up. And Laura Skull says, this is a no brainer to get this deal. Thank you. All right. So let's get into this so you can see how awesome this tool is. Woo. All right. So the link to check out the tool and to get it is go to startamonblog.com slash relay that once you have it and you get it, you will log into a screen that looks something like this. So for now, let's just go into a blank layout and I'll show you what this cool magic tool is. We are going to click on the little three dots up there and click on magic import. Hmm. What is this? All right, let's go to our most recent blog post or the one that you want to create Pinterest images for. I'm going to go to 14 best paleo snacks for kiddos. Copy that URL, paste it in there and click load. Oh, done. Okay, cool. So here we can select the colors and the photos that we want to extract out of that post, right? So you're not even uploading anything into Relay that it is pulling directly from your website. So I like the yellow. Let's see if that pink is in here. Yes, got my pink, which the green could kind of work too, especially if it's food, but I do like my pink. That is a good image we have so far. I'm going to look at photo two. That one would be good. And then photo three, my backdrop, probably something a little bit more on the plain side, this avocado. Okay. So you can pull in pictures from that post just by putting in your URL. Then you can decide on the text, the title. So 14 paleo snacks for kids that you can make it home today. It's a good title. It's nice and long. And then text to, I'm just gonna put my blog, my happy blog name. All right. Click on import. Then we have like this workspace that's perfectly catered to this blog post. All right. So we have our images. There's a couple other images that we can upload into these and we can do that by going here. All right, so we'll just click on the images here and add more photos to it. So I'll go back to my downloads, cute little picture of avocados. And that should load. Got another picture of eggs, gray paleo snacks for both adults and kids. All right, down here we can put in images. Say, for example, if there's a pin image or layout that shows a computer or a cell phone. Um, one thing I'm just going to change here is our backdrop actually check that. So that shows up. So you can see that's a little computer. I'm going to click on the color here and you can see here. We're just kind of setting up the template that we're going to be using on all our pen images. So the colors, the images, the fonts, the title. Um, if you do have a freebie, this would be a great place to kind of upload that freebie. So you you showcase it. So in a screen wide freebie, I can think of, let's think of a freebie that I have. All right. Say for example, this awesome calendar is my freebie. So you can see that on that screen wide, um, preview image and then on the little 
cell phone as well. I'll show you how that looks on a pin image. All right, so once you have everything kind of lined up here on your workspace, this is what you want it to look like. You can uh, rename it. Say so this is our Paleo Snacks blog post. And we can click on okay, Save Design, just double check. I always click the Save button a lot of times because I'm never sure that things are saving <laughs> and I'd rather click it more times than not and make sure I'm not losing any work. Okay, so I have my entire workspace here. Now you're gonna go to Layouts and this is where you're gonna be blown away. We're gonna click on that Pinterest pin layout and all of these pins are created for you, right? And they already look branded and done. So once you like one, you can just be click, oh, that one's good. That's great. I'm gonna go download that one. So put my little face there, download that one. I'm gonna go, ooh, this one's kind of great too. I like that. Slightly different, different little layout. You could add a different image to it, but we'll click download that one. As you scroll through, you can see the images and how the pin images look are fresh and different. It's not just that we're just changing the title or just changing the color. We are changing a lot of the pin image because these layouts are all very unique and you can just download that. All right, or we can click on this one. I do like the pin images where there are multiple images on um, the pin image itself. I felt that those have done really well for me. Um, I do experiment between different layouts and different um, kind of looks of my pins. They're not all perfectly branded. They don't always look the same. I love to experiment with different colors and designs. Okay, so this one looks awesome. Paleo snacks for kids. This one would be great because it has all these different types of cute little images that people can get ideas off of, and then they'll click through and get the entire post. But you can see as you go through, this one pen image looks completely different. You can add different little images at the bottom here. This one completely different. So they're very unique images. And I'll show you a couple more ways to make these even fresher and look more unique. That one's kind of cute. The plate's kind of like sliding in there. And even if you like this one, you can change that specific photo to something else, like the eggs. And that'll show up there cute little eggs. 14 paleo snacks your kids can make um, at home today. And something cute about, not cute, but what I like about Relay That is it's simple. There's enough things you can do to make it look unique, um, but not too much so you get overwhelmed. So if you put brackets, curly brackets, around a specific part of the text that you wanna highlight, we can go into fonts and those would be our highlighted fonts. And we can make that little section of the text look different. So it'll be in a different font. So maybe those can be bold. And then our regular font one could be something a little thinner. You play around with it, make it look pretty. All right, another thing that you can do that I did show in the previous video is you can change the colors quickly. So just by clicking on the different color ideas here in the colors tab, it's pretty fun to help you come up with new layouts. We can go back to our layouts then. And then our pen images look slightly different because they have different, um, now we have this one twice, different colors. Although it might not be as unique as they should be and fresh for Pinterest. So. Play around with the colors, but make sure that the pin images are looking very unique once you load them up to Pinterest to increase that freshness um, that Pinterest is looking for. Then another little hack that I saw is you can do on the drop downs, click on the drop downs, click on SEO keywords, and you can actually put keywords in the file. So when you download it, those keywords will show up. So paleo, no people. How do you spell paleo? There you go. Snacks, um, kids snacks, healthy snacks for kids, paleo, children, food, something like that. All right, and then when you download it to save it to your computer, you can see that those keywords that we put in 
um, the SEO section, you have paleo, paleo snacks for kids, healthy snacks for kids, that's inside the file name. So some people do feel that having the file name actually have the SEO keywords as well does help them show up in Google image search and other places. So it is a good practice to have those keywords in the file name. All right, so now that we have all these layouts, we can change colors. Um, you can create a ton of different looking pin images for the same blog post. And then lastly, when you click on the home button, you can look at the past workspaces that you have and the past blog posts that you have created pin images for. So again, I hope you love this. And if you do decide to get the Relay That tool, my affiliate link is below. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this makes your pin life so much easier and brings you a lot of traffic. All right, so here are a couple more comments of what other people have said about the first video. Uncluttered Simplicity says, it's like Canva on steroids. Angela Wombosh says, um, this is freaking amazing. Thank you, using your link to buy now. Thank you, Angela, I appreciate it. Brooke Amberson says, love this, Susie. Can't wait to play around with this. I seriously spent two hours last night designing like six pins on Canva. Never again. Woohoo! And I've heard from my past students that they have created over 100 images in an hour using Relay That. Now that's a time saver. All right, guys, see you in the next video, and thank you so much. Talk soon.